Here are three concepts you should know about triangles in grade 10. This is so important for Euclidean geometry, even in grade 11. So you should actually know all these concepts. Okay, so these concepts are actually about triangles. Uh, so we have got our first one, which is the sum of angles in a triangle. So this concept states that the sum of A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so this suggests that all the angles in a triangle together form an uh, 180 degrees angle so it means that if you're going to add angle a plus angle b plus angle c you're going to get 180 degrees so this applies to every triangle no matter what type it is be it is equilateral be it is a uh, scaling or isosceles so all the angles inside a triangle must add up to 180 degrees and then we've got this other concept of exterior angle so when we have an exterior angle it means we've got an angle which is outside a triangle okay so this exterior just means it is outside so let's see in this triangle given this is triangle a b c so in triangle a b c we actually have an angle which is outside the triangle so the angles inside the triangle are called interior angle so these are the interior ones all the angles all the sum of the interior angle remember we said this add up to 180 degrees but then we are not there we are now at the exterior one what happens if we have this exterior angle which is angle c okay so this suggests that c is equals to the sum of a plus b so the exterior angle of a triangle is equals to the sum of the two opposite interior angle okay so what does this mean it means that this angle c is actually going to be a plus b so this is the exterior angle of a triangle so this applies only when you have got an angle outside a triangle then we go to the last one which is the pythagoras theorem so the pythagoras theorem is so important especially when you're doing trigonometry so this is a right angle triangle meaning that the pythagoras theorem applies to only a right angle triangle so this side is the vertical side which is AB so AB is the vertical side while BC is the horizontal side of this triangle and then AC if you can see this line from A up to C it is actually not uh, a vertical or a horizontal but then it is actually joining this vertical line which is line AB which is line green and then line red they're actually joined by AC to make a triangle which is a right angled triangle so this slant line is actually called the hypotenuse so this side of a right angle triangle is the longest side of the right angle triangle so it means that this is called the hypotenuse which is the slant side which is not straight or lined down it is not vertical or horizontal so here the pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides so let's actually write it down as ac squared is equals to ab squared plus bc squared okay so this is saying that this sum the, the the square of the hypotenuse meaning that this is ac remember that we say line ac here it is actually our hypotenuse so you need to identify which side is your hypotenuse first before you go on about using this theorem so the square of the hypotenuse which is the square of ac is equals to the sum when they say is the sum it means that it is the addition of the squares by squares it means that the other two sides are actually squared so it's the theorem of pythagoras states that the square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides you don't have to know it in words but you need to know how to represent it mathematically so so do not confuse things and just substitute 
AC for AB and just interchange these things. So this will be very different. When AC moves from the equal sign to that other side, it actually changes its sign to negative from this positive AC. So do not interchange those things. The Pythagoras theorem is all related to the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse must be squared and then the sum of the other, of the squares of the other two sides must be added together in order to solve the Pythagoras theorem. We're going to do more practices on this theorem as we move on. Don't forget to watch more videos. Tell your friends to stay tuned.